guys, um, today I wanted to briefly uh, review a couple of items that I received, um, uh, kind of like first experience review unpacking sort of thing. Um, the first item are these Icon Stormhawk boots that I, that I got in gray, um, and the other is an LS2 helmet. Um, so let's talk about these boots real quick. Um, waterproof, leather, um, about ankle high, a little bit higher. Um, what is there to say? I, I put them on and <laughs> they are probably one of the most comfortable um, motorcycle boots I've owned. Um, of course, that is reflected in the price point, which is 185 US. Um, you can get these from Revzilla or just about anywhere. Uh, you can type it Icon Stormhawk, you can buy from eBay as well, but they're all pretty much, generally speaking, about the same price, uh, 185, I believe. Uh, what's great about these boots is they're very sturdy. Um, you can see the bottom of these soles are um, gonna give you a ton of grip. Um, they're very well constructed. The stitching is very well done. They have this pretty cool mechanism for lacing, um, lacing your boots. So there's no laces, as you can see. You just pop them open and put your foot in. Um, they come in three different colors, brown, uh, gray, and black. And I chose gray because as a fashionable person myself, um, gray tends to go with just about everything. Um, black, not so much. Brown, not so much. But gray is somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah, they are true to size, I have to say. So if you are, let's say a 10, get a 10. Um, if you're an eight, get an eight. Um, yeah, they're not super heavy. They're pretty light, actually, like a hiking boot. And they will offer protection a little over an ankle. You can see you have kind of like ankle uh, pads here and a little bit above that. They are, as I mentioned, waterproof. So there is a liner in there, and I guarantee you it's probably gonna get a little hot. So wear appropriate socks, I would say, with maybe that our mesh are ventilated of some, some, in some way. Uh, there's not much ventilation here. It almost looks like they're, they're ventilated, but they're not. Yeah, so pretty sturdy, and I'm pretty excited about um, getting to wear these on some of the longer rides. I, I, that's pretty much what why I picked these up. I didn't want it, the full kind of like forma boots that go up to your knees or even a little bit lower than that. Uh, I don't do much off-roading, but these uh, I think it will be perfect for the occasional time that I kind of head out to, uh, you know, fire roads or uh, gravel roads of any kind, or maybe even off-road a little bit, two track, single track, if I find any. Um, around here so yeah so that's kind of where I'm at with these very sturdy very nice and I have to say off the get-go right off the get-go pretty much broken in they, you don't have to you know I haven't like I said I haven't worn them for longer than five minutes but they seemed uh, genuinely comfortable from the get-go so um, I would say go ahead fairly mid-priced boot um, reputable brand so I would say go ahead and pick these up um, but uh, if I do run into any issues with these later down the line uh, I may bring this up again and see how well they do the other product um, I want to briefly talk about uh, that I just got and I just wanted to kind of go over first impressions uh, is this LS2 
um, Blaze um, helmet that I got, um, which is <laughs> in this fancy red and white and black and gray kind of scheme. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. My experience with LS2 helmets um, ranges from I love it to I, I, I hate it and I gotta get rid of it. Um, I don't remember the two helmets that I have, I'll list below here. So this one, I love it and I use on all my longer trips. Um, and it's equipped, I equipped it with um, a comm unit and a, a spot for my GoPro. So anytime you see GoPro footage from me, from the helmet, it's usually from that one. And it's fairly quiet, um, all around tour, uh, modular helmet from LS2, it, fairly inexpensive. The other one I had, this one right here, this one, um, hated it, looked amazing, looked great. It actually had a lot in common with this helmet, but it was noise-wise, god awful. Anytime I would put it on and go faster than 35 miles per hour, I could not tolerate the wind noise. It had very thin walls. Um, the spots for the ears were, you know, good, but then you had nothing between between you and the wall. Um, no foam of any kind, uh, no styrofoam, no whatever. Uh, no spots for speakers. So I had to get rid of that one. It looked great and uh, you can see I'm wearing it. it even in the intro for this video, it's that black uh, and yellow helmet that I wore um, during my um, off-road uh, ride in Wisconsin last year, 2020. Um, this one, but because I had such a wildly different experience with LS2, I wanted to give the tiebreaker I guess for this one would be this helmet right here, which is the blaze like I said, and it seems to be so far Kind of what I wanted um, And what I wanted specifically is a helmet to wear um, while I'm on my GS uh, my BMW GS on solo trips, so I'm going to equip it equipped it with speaker internal speakers and but no real comm unit, just speakers uh, so that I can listen to music or podcast or whatever while I'm riding by myself on longer trips. Um, and I wanted something that was a little more adventure oriented because I don't take my GS on the highway usually. Uh, it's more like side roads and back roads and gravel roads and, and, and things like that. Um, so the reason why I bought this is because it has clear visor. It has a sun visor internal it has room for speakers and it has a vent that opens and closes here and this um, peak uh, visor is not is removable and I have not done so but I like it I'm not going to be removing it it also has obviously vents in the back for the air to escape um, I believe these vents are similar to the other helmet that I had right here. It's very well similarly constructed, but um, it does offer a little bit more wind protection, noise protection. Um, so far I've, I've put it on, oh, and yeah, one more vent back here that you can hardly see. And you can actually see these the, the vents escaping through here. Um, I am gonna put this on right now. Uh, I have put it on before. It fit, uh, true to size, fairly comfortable, nice and snug. <clears throat> so you can see um, it's got the fast clip, fast um, ratchet clip here. Um, yeah, it, it's very comfortable, very comfortable. The sun visor comes down. Uh, the one thing I do notice about the sun visor, it is doesn't come down too low. So while it is protecting my my vision here, um, 
you can still see a little bit there's a crack that's pretty wide here so your peripheral vision is still affected by sunlight um, yeah and obviously a lot of people have touched on the fact that if you do want to put a comm unit the sun visor button is uh, slide is right where your comm unit would be so be aware of that obviously and this thing the shield comes down and uh, yeah it's you know the noise is pretty good we'll find out for sure um, once I give this a spin outside and uh, let you know about the ventilation and, and things like that um, should be pretty good you can the clip for the ventilation is on on the inside yeah overall very quality made uh, looks great uh, love the look of it and uh, yeah I can't uh, can't wait to uh, give this one a proper proper test uh, out there on the road hopefully this uh, helps you in deciding whether you want to purchase uh, the icon boots Stormhawk boots or the LS2 obviously these are first impressions uh, right out of the box um, I can't speak for long-term use yet obviously but uh, hopefully if I do run into any issues you know, check in back with me check back with me and um, in a couple of months and see if I have anything to say otherwise until next time